Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. We got quite a few firsts in this particular episode. Uh, first of all, this is my first ever Polish beer. And second of all, this is my first ever Imperial Porter. Now it's kind of a contradiction in terms because a strong porter would generally be considered a stout, but it says porter on there, so I'm going to consider it an Imperial Porter. This is uh, the... No, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. Zywick Porter, 500 milliliters, 9.5% ABV, recipe since 1881. Really nice bottle design. Love the bottle cap on here. Uh, cool picture on the back, but no description. So, uh, this was requested by Piotr Wezelak. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it in the description box below. I guess he's from Poland. And he said, review any Polish beer. So you know what, this was only like two fifty at my beer store. Uh, my beer store guy really recommended it. He's like, it's like the strongest beer you can get for two fifty. That's not a four loco. All right, well, we got a typical Porter Stout appearance. It's just totally black. Nice head on there. It's brown, yellow. Look, it's almost the same color as the table. You know, uh, it's kind of a frothiness to it. It has that definite porter smell to it. It's more like those, like, medicine-y kind of malts. It's not, like, super deeply roasted like a, a stout might be. And, you know, 9.5 ABV. Don't, don't smell it at all. No, no alcohol. It just smells like any other kind of sessional boat porter. Let's see what it tastes like one. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> For the most part, it does taste like uh, a pretty sessionable pub porter. Um, quite sweet up front. You get like a little bit of like a toffee, uh, confectionery type sweetness on the back end. You get like it's a little bit of like a, a alcohol dryness around the end, but you know, it finishes fairly clean. It's not a lingering taste much. You get like a lot of sweetness on this. I was expecting this to be like, you know, super roasty and dark chocolate and all that stuff, but like I said, drinking like a regular sessionable porter. Nice and it's sweet, but it's not it's not sickly sweet. It doesn't really taste like a Russian Imperial stout or anything in that kind of ballpark either. It's just like a regular old pat porter with a lot more um energy behind it. Now another another thing I'm gonna do for the first time ever on this show is get a steak on the grill. And I'm going to pair it with this, uh, mostly off camera, but a little bit on. You know, usually I do a steak with an IPA or something, but you know what? 9.5% porter. Let's see how it goes with a steak. Cheers. All right, I am back. And as you can see, I got my steak here, nice and medium. Look how nice and pink that is in the middle with uh, sauteed mushrooms and black beans. And then another beer is warming up. The alcohol is starting to come out a little bit more. It's not really affecting the palate much. It's still very smooth. Very, very smooth. Nice, uh, you know, full body mouth feel to it. It's still, you know, not as super thick and like viscous as like maybe even a uh, old Rasputin or something like that. It still drinks like a smaller quarter. So let's see how it goes with with the food here. Yeah, you know, like the roasted malts, the the full flavor of the palate, like really, you know, pairs well with this with this steak, and it's actually a kind of a spicy steak. Um, you know, it's not like nearly as spicy as like jambalaya or something like that, but it's a you know full flavored meal. Um, the beer is is pairing with it perfectly. 
seems to actually cut through like the fat. It's a pretty fatty steak. Um, a lot of that probably has to do with the alcohol. I'm not, you know, I know something about beer, but when it comes to actual beer and food, like the actual science behind it, I'm, you know, I have total shot in the dark when it, all I know is what I like. I think it's give us a solid 8 out of 10. Um, it's not quite a 9, you know, it's just really nothing about it that's blowing my mind, like, oh my god, it's super delicious or whatever, but for what it is, you know, 9.5% porter, you know, hardly any alcohol presence, and it's, you know, super, super smooth, plenty flavorful, and going very well with a meal like this. Um, what I would, definitely what I would consider a very good beer. So yeah, 8 out of 10. So thanks for watching this episode of Jazz Beer Reviews, and I'll see you next time. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.